Now, GameStop is trending on Twitter, ticker symbol GME, with over 35,000 tweets today. As many of you know, GameStop has earnings tonight, 5 p.m., one hour after the market close, and we're going to go over everything to expect. But most importantly, I want to talk about the calls that we are holding for GameStop. Should we continue to hold? I know it's probably getting scary, but in today's video, I want to talk about AMC, GameStop, the S&P 500, and go over everything that there is to go over before earnings. So make sure to hit the like on the video. It's free. It helps me out. Also hit the subscribe button. We are so close to 14,000 subscribers. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So GameStop trending on Twitter. It's also being talked about on r slash short squeeze and all also, the media is picking it up as well. Why GameStop shares are rising. This was posted today over on Weeble by Benzinga. Shares are trading higher by 4.9% to $25.90 Wednesday morning. The stock rise may be driven by anticipation of the company's first quarter earnings report confirmed for Wednesday afternoon session. This is most likely true. This is most likely why the price has been scaling up because of anticipation for earnings. Based on analyst consensus estimate, GameStop is projected to announce an earnings per share EPS loss of 12 cents alongside a revenue of 1.36 billion. And their last quarter, the company beat earnings per share by 29 cents and the stock followed by a 35.24% increase the next day, the following day. And that is exactly why people are anticipating this earnings play, thinking that it will gap up once again. Now, this article, something to pay attention to and note, they say the stock may be also experiencing a short squeeze in anticipation of Wednesday's earnings report. GameStop has a total share flow of 267 million, of which 57 million shares are sold short, representing a notable 21.41% of shares sold short. Now, of course, this is probably the wrong report to us as back in January when they reported it to us around 40%, it was actually 140%. So of course, the squeeze is gonna be much, much larger than what they're reporting but the fact that they are bringing up that GameStop may experience a short squeeze is something to definitely pay attention to because the media always wants to be right all right now let's jump into this we're trading at $25.30 up 2.47 percent on the day it was up about five percent on the day before and I want you to know that me myself because a lot of you guys might be feeling the tension of holding your calls on GameStop and might want to take profits and let me tell you a couple things I want to let you know I'm up 190 ish percent to 200 percent of my calls it's getting sketchy right i would be very very happy to take these profits but my original plan was buy these calls with expiration in july and hold through earnings no matter what happens just because it's been scaling up into earnings doesn't mean i'm going to jump out of my plan even though I could be taking profits. And honestly, taking profits is probably the right thing to do, the safe thing to do for these call contracts. However, if you're willing to two, three, four, five X your money, and on the other half potentially lose your money, this is the bet that there is to make. Not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. Let's jump into the chart. So GameStop is being accumulated up into this earnings report. Take a look at the on balance volume reaching an all time high. Currently, as we speak, as we make this video, GameStop is right around the highest levels it's had like we had back in the squeeze back in January and the accumulation period after that going into going into March of 2021. So what you can see is a decline in price and GameStop is being accumulated by investors. The next thing to note, GameStop is hugging the top of the Bollinger Bands, which is usually a scary thing to see as it could predict downside going forward. Like you see back here, snapped out of the Bollinger Bands and got smacked hard. Same thing up here, up here, and over here. Now, keep in mind, GameStop is on its sixth green week in a row, which we have not seen. We have not seen that even before the run-up back in January of 2021. Back when we ran to $500, we have not seen six green weeks. This is currently the sixth green week, and if it pops on earnings, it could potentially hold this as the sixth green week going into the seventh week. The pressure buildup is here. If volume kicks in for earnings, this thing could actually have a disgusting move. Now it's trading right in this ascending parallel channel. If we break below $24 towards the end of the day, it's probably going to invalidate a few things. Worst comes to worst, GameStop earnings, I see it coming down to about $22.30. That's worst case scenario, all in my opinion. Best case scenario, we gap up to around $31.50 after hours for the earnings play. This is the short term outlook on GameStop. It's a very, very risky hold, but I also want to I'll put some icing on the cake for you. GameStop, 17,000 calls expiring in the money going towards the end of this week with barely any puts. Plus, keep in mind there's 36,000 out of the money, which could cause gamma ramping going forward, and 41,000 calls for next week's expiration expiring in the money as well with another 70,000 
out of the money. So a lot of people are betting bullish on GameStop and they are winning. This could start to cause the gamma ramp to roll, FOMO to kick in, and then shorts to essentially potentially cover depending on how positive their earnings go for GameStop. This is a solid thing to see. More people are betting bullish on GameStop. And this is interesting. AMC, take a look at the brand new options chain loaded up for expiration next week, June 16th. 355,000 call contracts expiring out of the money, which means more than 5x the puts are bet on calls for AMC expiring next week. This could also indicate that AMC is nearing a bottom very very soon this could also indicate amc is about to near a bottom very very soon but that being said that tracks perfectly to what we're tracking reaching this bottom and then getting a parabolic move for amc we're trading at four dollars and 62 cents i talked about four dollars being the very very bottom before getting that rip higher and that is potentially something that we could see going forward now if you are playing calls or puts or playing amc or gamestop this is the iv chart right here you can go on market chameleon and take a look at how dangerous these contracts actually are the iv rank is moderate but the technicals for gamestop says that it has a bullish crossover over on market chameleon and also a lot more people are betting calls than betting puts on gamestop as for amc the technicals are a downtrend more people are betting puts and the iv is even higher so just keep that in mind as it might not be the time just yet to jump into amc calls even though, just to disclose, I am still holding my AMC and GameStop calls. Now, if it makes you feel better, if you want to, after this video is up, be able to come up to me and say, yo, are you holding through earnings? What contract are you holding? How risky is it? Make sure to join the Discord because I'm in there on the daily. It's basically a huge group chat. I'm in there plus almost 500 of the most amazing people now who talk stocks all day long. And there are a lot of people in there playing GameStop earnings. So make sure to jump in the Discord. The link will be right under the video. We also have options trading alerts in there. We post gains, post losses, and more. Also, guys, if you want up to 55 free AMC stocks, and the reason I say that is because Moomoo is giving away one Tesla stock to you, which is worth 55 AMC if you were to sell it and buy AMC, not financial advice. They're also allowing you up to 17 free stocks and a $100 cash coupon that, yes, you can withdraw that $100. So sign up for Moomoo using my link. That will be under the video and make a deposit. Once you do that, you will start earning benefits from there the more and more you deposit. Plus, it's a good platform in general for free level two order book data, access to trading options, going long, going short, and more. Back to the video. Now, the S&P 500 still has this $423 gap fill. We're trading at 427.41, basically sideways on the day. We are still hanging at the very, very top of the Bollinger Bands. This thing just looks scary, right? There's a gap fill to the downside. We're hovering on these Bollinger Bands and overall it is just sketchy to say the least. Now I posted two YouTube shorts yesterday, well actually three. One was the Ape documentary. I also posted about the fires up in Canada. Pray for everybody up in Canada as well as the air quality. Be very, very careful if you're in New York or even my area. Also I posted a YouTube short on a potential stock that might rip for the long term. So if you guys do wanna go see those, make sure to go watch those. Little Sprinkle on Top Bank of Canada has unexpectedly started raising interest rate hikes after pausing earlier this year. The central bank just raised interest rates by 0.25 BPS, the market expected no hikes today. So just to show you what could possibly happen as everyone thinks, oh, Nike swoosh recovery is happening. Uh, they're not going to hike interest rates anymore, this, that, and the third. And then boom, no hikes were expected for Canada and they just raised them by 0.5, 0.25 BPS after pausing earlier in the year. Plus, people have taken out $100 billion from big banks, including JP Morgan, Bank of America, Citi, and Wells Fargo during the first quarter of 2023. This is only for Q1, $100 billion withdrawn from big banks only. This isn't how much was withdrawn overall from banks, but just keep that in mind that they are not doing well. And who else is not doing well? Hedge funds. Hedge funds lose new record high of $11.57 billion from investors. And and this is from investors withdrawing their money for the month of April. The second biggest month of outflows so far. In quotes, while outflows were seen across the board, equity funds just saw the biggest redemptions with $8.94 billion of funds removed during the month. Overall, guys, that's what I got for you for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. Make sure to pop in Discord so we can talk. Let me know in the comments down below if you're playing GameStop, if you're playing AMC, what you think about the S&P 500. Overall, are you ready for earnings? I love you all. Lottery stocks out.